going on people hope you've had a good week so in this week's vlog i'm working on the hot rod r8 um a little bit more and um, just with the rear panel just getting that um sorted out which i've found a couple of bits and trim which you'll see in the video also started on the wheels as well and um, getting them looking how i want them to look and yeah again as mentioned before i'm just using bits and pieces that i'm i've had kicking around from other builds i've had in and left over as spares so yeah keep watching so here it is done a bit more work to the r8 hot rod and um, done some wheel inserts so we've got a little bit of a deep dish on the wheels now i've managed to sort out the rear fitment obviously the original plan was to have the arch tucked right behind the wheel but it didn't actually look as good as what i thought it was so had a bit of a play around and trimmed the arch out and actually spaced the wheel out a lot more so the fitment itself i think looks so much better now as we can see here i've just loosely put the um the windscreen in place and just the doors on just to see how it looks uh, as a more complete car but we're starting to get the shape of the build itself now. And I must admit, for a fun build, I'm loving it. Look at this. <laughs> Keep watching. So I've dug out some bits and pieces what I've had kicking around and I've found this. Now laying this up to the R8, it seems to fit reasonably well. So with it leaving quite a nice hole here, now would be obviously to cut this section out to make more of a perspective, but we can see that it doesn't quite fit here and around. So what I'm gonna plan on doing is cutting around this section of this panel, so this will hopefully drop into place. Um, again, this is just a fun build and just something to pass the time. Again, this will look quite cool, obviously once the seat's in place here. Um, so it's gonna be like a bit of a chop shot. So let's see how we go. there we have it the rear is now fully completed and in place the way that i'm happy with just a quick pan around the back as we can see you're now getting more of an idea of the way that this car is going to be looking um and i'm very happy with it very happy with the way that this is turning out again i'm just using bits and pieces that i've got left over from previous builds and previous cars that i've just taken bits off of so obviously this isn't actually for an r8 is off a completely different car um, i've reused this section which obviously was in here originally so yeah just gonna uh, get perspex piece in here axles are where i need them to be i've had to extend the axles out wider just for the wheels to sit correctly the wheel centers are just drying um, ready to be fitted i've chosen the center wheel design so i've just got to adapt them to fit the dishes of the wheels and then it is ready for paint so this paint obviously will be sanded back as much as physically possible and then the color will go down and i'm going to be adding some extra details kind of in keeping with the actual look that i'm going for so see i hope you're enjoying this build and obviously keep following the progress and here is the rear uh, top panel of the R8, which you saw in the previous clip that I was making. I'm doing this section gloss black, um, just to kind of flow with the inside of the car being black. Again, I will be putting a Perspex sheet in here, as mentioned before, but this is laid down with a gloss coat. Again, I'm just reusing bits that I've had kicking around from other cars. So I'm very happy with how this is turning out. I've almost done like a, a weld design down the side here as if two panels have actually been welded together. So keep watching and follow this progress. So 
So this is the Perspex sheet of where it is actually gonna sit. I'm not gluing it in yet because I'm still yet to complete painting this. I've got a few more bits to rub down and obviously getting it a lot cleaner than what it is. But this is where the actual Perspex sheet is gonna fit and it will be glued in from underneath. So we can see that the rear is starting to take shape a bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with how this is turning out um, and it looks so much better with one color on it now that I've got an idea of how it is going to look. Let's keep watching and there they are this is the r8 wheel design um i'm not doing that much of a deep dish on these wheels compared to obviously say the wide body discovery and these are actually a, an original standard wheel uh, that came on a kid's car i've just cut them down to fit the dishes and just have that little bit more of a different effect to them so everything on this build I'm actually just using parts that I have kicking about already. So just reusing and recycling really. So that's the wheel choice done. It's just gonna match the color of the car. So keep watching. And that is this week's vlog done. We're now starting to get an idea of the, the look that I'm going for with the R8 and how it is starting to look already. Then it's a case of rubbing down the bodywork and then getting the paint laid down. So hit that like and subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Again, if you haven't seen any of previous vlogs, please go and check them out because they are on the YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. We have a lot more content. Um, again, previous builds are on Facebook. And again, thank you so much for all your support. Peace.